This video is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Well, if you've been out on the water at all lately, you've probably come across some cow nose rays. Late spring and early summer, they just seem to be everywhere. And the sport of bow fishing seems to be growing in popularity as well. So much so that you can even catch a charter out to take aim at cow nose rays. And that's exactly what we did recently with the Ocean City Guide Service. We meet up with Captain John Prather at the Ocean City Fishing Center. Doing the fishing today are Casey and Melissa visiting from Tennessee and they're ready to test their archery skills and also find out if the rays can tempt their taste buds. We've seen a lot of cow nose rays, a lot of southern rays, uh, right around the Route 50 bridge, around the inlet, and then of course all in the usual haunts in the South Bay and really up around the thoroughfare. They're everywhere. So, I mean, for the other day we couldn't even fish. There were so many rays. It's, it's a lot this year. There's a lot of them. We'll say that and then we won't be able to find them. That's about how it works. <laughs> Before arriving at the bridge, the archers get a brief briefing and take a few test shots. So just keep your feet right here. Your both are ready. Be real careful for your straight up and down shot so you don't hit the boat or you'll hit your feet. Um, you know, and, and watch your follow through. You know, you're gonna, you know, you've got about a 45 degree angle. And once you get here, I don't really want you to shoot. Safety first. Um, we'll take a couple practice shots. You always want to get your line wet inside your reel first anyway. And uh, fire away. The search for rays begins at the west side of the Route 50 bridge. And as we search, Captain John expresses the thoughts many have on the effects of rays in local waters. Dang, they're eating a lot of crabs, a lot of clams. And they are really messing up the bay. I feel like, it, I mean, our whole South Bay the last couple of years has been, it's dead. Dead grasses, not much vegetation, no life. I think a lot of it is to do with the rays. It doesn't take long to come across a school, and Casey and Melissa are ready. Both to double. All right, I'm gonna back on it. Both. All right, don't. There goes that one. Nice. That was good. Glad I hit him. Or I was looking at the next piling up. Oh, there was more than that. Oh, there was 30 or 40 of them sitting there. After regrouping, we head back, and a fisherman on the bridge is happy to help guide us to the raise. Captain John slides the boat up behind a school of them and the archers have their pit. Aim low. I got one. Melissa misses this one, but Casey doesn't. And it doesn't look like the rays have been spooked. Melissa comes back for another shot. This time, she doesn't miss. Got him. Got him? Yep. We got one jug in her. <laughs> it's a little bit lighter with bow, so basically on like a yo-yo, and it pops right off. So this is better than fishing. Fishing boring. Rather hey, shoot stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you haven't been fishing with me yet either. <laughs> That's true. That's true. There's a bunch of them right there. There are rays everywhere. Melissa and Casey pretty much have their pick, and it looks like these rays are sticking around. Hit him. There you go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> right there, right there, right there. There you go. Yeah. We gotta get her on in the boat here. There With so many rays, it's no wonder Captain John has added bow fishing to his inshore repertoire. It's more and more, it's really gained a lot of popularity. A lot of guys, a lot of the local guys have setups now. You know, a lot of the bow hunters around here keeps you tuned up for the for the hunting season when it comes in. And I mean, it, it's, it's a good thing. I mean, we really got to get these rays under control. And with this charter, the rays are not going to be wasted. They're going to eat them. They're great smoke. I mean, some people like them, some don't. So I cut them up in strips and use them in my crab pots. They work great. Um, get them to the lobster guys. They take them offshore and use them for lobster bait. Or lobster bait. And then uh, early in the season, the guys use them for conch bait. Got lucky. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Casey and Melissa even put a little tag team action on display. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was different 
than what I expected. I thought we'd only shoot like two of them. We got like 12 of them. <laughs> and with two hours of non-stop action, everyone is going home happy. Get outdoors, Delmarva.